Free as a bird. Feels like you're going through um, some spiritual awakening also. This is a spirit card. This is the birth. So you're experiencing a rebirth, which is very typical for your sign. I mean, you are the rebirth sign. And you just feel that everything is doing well and nothing can go wrong. Um, a new chapter of your life is what you're facing here. For others, it's a new career, a new job, or this is about relocating. I get a strong sense here of uh, travel, okay? Foreign land. There's big places that you're going to go to. However, there are certain people and there's certain environment that you need to be more careful off. Your first card is the full card. Mm -hmm. So Scorpios, let's see. There's also second chances if it's about relationship. We are on an eclipse watch and we are fifth day. Uh, fifth, uh, yeah, fifth, five days remaining. Not fifth day, five days remaining for the upcoming eclipse, lunar eclipse on the 24th. Okay. Oh, and Everybody has been asking about, because I do astrology, uh, you know, um, so I'm doing a, uh, this is a free, okay, exclusive report for your sign, for all the signs actually, and you can get it in your email. We'll send the direct link if you download our app. So, meaning this is exclusive for our app users for e Love, because you can download our app available in Apple and Android. I'll put the link in the description box below, okay? So if you want to get the you know, specifics even more, because I do that a lot. All right, um, let's uh, talk about the second chance. Let's talk about the feeling that you have right now. You, I feel like you just ex uh, exist in the moment. You're more, um, you know, they say living in present. It's a feeling of no attachment to anything. And it's again, it's a wonderful card because after the fool, you become the magician. In traditional tarot, the magician is actually the physical form, meaning you become human. This is the birth of a human, which is the magician. It's the one that manifests and learns. So your free spirit, you don't have any kind of attachment, which is very fitting for the upcoming eclipse. You may be doing some sort of spring cleaning, which is uh, that's also good. With the full card, you have um, you have certain things that you want to try for the first time. You have certain like oh, I've never let's just say I don't know you're you're a vanilla wink wink. No, you like vanilla ice cream, but for today I'm gonna have a you know dragon fruit. You understand me? It's about the experience. It's very enriching. I'm seeing it for you, and you know with your chart right here. Um, it's the part where Rahu is in the fifth house. Uh, this is the quest for happiness, and it's new things, uh, creative things that you probably are exploring. You know, writing a book, opening a, a new channel, a YouTube, a podcast. This is also past life, but uh, past life luck. But with Rahu in the fifth, this is press. Uh, you're creating something new for yourself, and you're exploring. Okay, these are things that makes you feel. Uh, Good. May it be like, let's just say, knitting or something that brings peace, okay? Now, sun is there. Mercury is also in the fifth house for you. And you're probably having issues with communication, right? And we know that retrograde, uh, the first retrograde for this year is coming. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be on the April. I don't see it here. But if on top of my, I believe April is second. So it's going to be also Gandanta. It's going to come from... Pisces to Aries and it's going to go reverse, okay? It doesn't really go reverse, but then there will be a lot of things that you have to review. So I'm going to give you a heads up already that retrograde season is coming also while eclipse season has just started. So there's a whole lot of things going on for the month of uh, March crossing to April. So just giving you a heads up, okay? A spiritual awakening with a hermit right here. Knight of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, at Quest for true love, Ace of Cups with Ace of Swords, mm. which is round the fifth. You're dating someone new. Ace of Cups and Swords are new people. These are more of like, um, this is true love. So you may, of course, at this, as the solar eclipse is coming, um, it's going to happen in your fifth house and doors are going to be opening up for a new relationship. A very wonderful experience also because um, with the solar, you know, while Surya is going to get eclipsed out, you know, there are certain people that you probably uh, will live behind as far as like dating is concerned. 
anything that uh, you feel like you you have a soul bond, this may be the time that uh, karmic bonds and connections will be uh, severed, which is gives you the full card. The Ace of Swords is victory. You know, you have everything lined up for a relationship, and I keep saying this to all the Scorpios, if there's anything that you should be focusing on is either, is it about your business relationship, your romantic relationship, partnership is very important for you right now, and Six of Swords, you've surrendered, you know, like you surrendered to the past, which is good, and then now you have the Hermit card right here, which is more of like, whoever you were communicating with before, they're wanting to talk, but I don't see the effort. That's a hermit right there. So they needed some time. I feel like it's not like you respected it. You just didn't care. It's like, well, if they don't want to have a conversation, it's okay. Miscommunication, misunderstanding is big time uh, for the next, uh, you know, it, it already has happened. Mercury is in a debilitation sign, which is Pisces, and then it's going to go retrograde. So it's going to be an SHIT show. It's going to be one of those months where you need to be conservative with April, okay? Now, Jupiter, of course, in your sixth house. Um, just be careful because if you are a business entrepreneur, this gives you a lot of debts, okay? But those debts normally is for the good, meaning you borrow money to make money. You have a Prince of Swords right here with a Devil card. Um, your person has been stalking you. You probably didn't know that. Um, this is uh, this is a very heavy energy. For, um, I'm feeling very deceptive. Um, they keep secrets. You know, it's not just the you know they have a uh, skeletons on their closet. At this point, I feel like you know that it's a walk-in closet for this person. They ghosted you not just for no reason. I feel like there is someone now involved because the devil card. Is some crystals just don't work with your sign. If you're tired that your crystals are not working the way that you would like to, well, I'm a crystal expert and I made specific double Piao crystal bracelet just for your sign. Get yours right now at eTreatLove.me. See, I told you, Scorpio, you will find out the truth. Okay? You'll find out the truth. Remember, um, Rahu in the fifth can give you someone that is illusion. You're in love with someone, dating someone, but it's actually an illusion. It's a situation ship. And that's why out of all the crystals that I have, the very first crystal that I have used is rose quartz, you know, to help with relationship. So this is what I choose for you. This is your Zodiac Piao. It comes with citrine. You guys know me. I, if Hi, I'm Sal and I love citrine. You know, that's me. <laughs> so this is available for your Eclipse Kit. This comes with a free red thread, okay? Real gold, which is, it's better if it's gifted. So this is gifted to you also. So I'm giving this for free. Your Eclipse Essential Kit, which comes with a class is here. So this is more for focus on the energy of the house, which we need, okay, to secure for the Eclipse in a debt removal pouch also comes with a class so this is free shipping in the US and if you didn't know it comes also with a class for remedying relationship okay and when you get uh, uh, when you get this it's free shipping in the US and we ship to more than 80 countries across the globe okay so make sure to check it out relationship time for you I feel like the best investment that you will uh, you know as far as the crystals try to go for rose quartz okay as you know I'm always wearing mine also so, um, with the Devil card and the Prince of Swords, I feel like your person has an unhealthy attachment. You're more like, I surrendered in this long time ago, so this person is not part of your present life. The, solar, the lunar eclipse is going to happen also in your house of income. So, you may get something new here as far as money and monetary as we go closer. Um, yesterday, I shared with you guys, right? You know, like with my, you know, my TikTok, which it gives me anxiety to go there. You know, that's just the app is just too much okay, for me. Um, it went viral, you know? So in your end, you know, that's a network, okay? It's 11th house, okay? So if you need some networking, it can expand it. Nothing is impossible during this eclipse. You just need to know what to manifest at that specific time. That's why I'm here, okay? Look at this. You have a magician right here. Magician is as above, so below. And I told you, you have a free spirit here, the fool, and then you become the magician, right? So this is a single person. Magician, Ace of Swords, and the Ace of Cups. Um, I feel like the Scorpios are opening up to someone new. So if you're a cross-watcher, um, I don't know. Uh, I don't think the Scorpio is interested to you or with you. I feel like they've already let you go with the Magician and Ace of Swords and Ace of Cups, they're already exploring new relationship because I have coached them. 
because I told them that they're gonna have someone new to date because I see that they're gonna get married in a year or so. Yeah, so you're cross-watching your old news. <laughs> Just saying. Oh, kayo dyan. Oh, yung bago na. Huwag na yung mga, Diyos ko, mga XX na naman. Mm. Temperance. Well, it's up to you, Scorpio. Your ex wants to be back with you. Well, I don't have time for today for the extended reading, but tomorrow I'll touch the subject again. So make sure to check out your Zodiac Piao and it's not too late. Why? Because I will prepare it for you. I know it's a time crunch. It is in the 24th and shipping wise, you will get it. Chances are probably after the eclipse, but the eclipse season is six months. So when you get it, watch the class that I'm sharing with you and you're going to be fine. I'll see you guys again. Have a wonderful day.